flying physics teacher's back, and this time we're going to have an explanation for that mousetrap car and how exactly we build it. But all the things here that we're going to need to build this mousetrap car. To get started, we're going to start with the power drill, and we're going to cut off a piece of that brazing rod. And the easy way to do that is to chuck it into the power drill and use the cutters on your pliers while you spin the power drill. Makes a perfect cut every time. Okay, we'll dab a little oil on the end of the on the end of the piece, and then we're ready to use the threader. Make sure you start from the right side of the threader. And the threader just simply cuts threads into the end. There'll be a section about three quarters of an inch long on each side that's threaded. Now we just simply need to do that to the other side. And that's enough. Over to our drill bits, we get the smallest drill bit we've got. It's a 1 16th inch drill bit. And we're going to go ahead and drill a hole in that rod. You've got to be really careful because these bits break real easy with 1 16th of an inch. All right, now I'm actually going to use my next size up drill bit and I'm going to deburr the edge of the hole. Okay, to do that we're going to stick the drill bit right there and just turn it by hand. Just, one, just a couple of sizes up. And that just makes it so that it's less likely to cut through our string. Okay, the axle is done and that's actually the hardest part of the entire car. Next thing we need to do is we need to drill the mounting for the axle. And to do that, we're going to start with our uh, oak block. This is oak. Uh, you could use any other hardwood. You could use uh, softwood in a pinch, but hardwood's better. And I'm going to drill this with a 9 64th inch drill bit. Okay, that's just a little bit bigger, one size bigger than my axle is, and that'll let it have enough room to spin inside the, the wood. Okay, if you have a drill press, you'll want to use a drill press for this, but you don't have to use a drill press, and that's why I'm doing it with this one. There it is. Okay, we've got our body, our chassis for the car, so to speak. Clean out the ends a little bit with the drill. Okay, and that should set, our, our axle should go right into there. But before we can do that, oh yeah, spins nice and free. Before we can do anything with that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make the cutout out of the body of the car. Okay, you can see the cutout in the edge of the car here. And it needs to be about three quarters inch deep and about an inch wide. I'm just going to draw it in because none of these sizes are real critical. So we're going to draw that down, bring that in here, and that's the section we're going to cut out of this car. Okay, ugly but effective. Now, the car's almost done at this point. Our axle still fits through, the section with the hole is good, everything is good. We are going to have to modify our mousetrap next. Some sets of rules say that you can't modify the mousetrap, and if your rules say you can't modify the mousetrap, you're going to need to mount it where the top is right below the edge of the axle. Okay, but if you are allowed to modify the mousetrap, we're going to go ahead and use a little more of the mousetrap, and we're going to make that same cutout onto the mousetrap. Okay, cut it out right across there. Just cut off the nose of the mouse if you've got a Victor trap. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. And uh, that's how we're going to build our car because we don't have any rules. And our mouse trap is actually ready, the mouse trap car is ready to assemble. Okay, we're going to take this and it should set where the trap anvil is right across the top from the axle. That's where this thing is going to set. So we're going to take that and nail it in place with a few brads. Save your fingers. Use the pliers to help you start the uh, uh, the brads. And just kind of press it into there. Okay, once it's ready to go, we'll use our little brad hammer and that's enough to hold it in place right now. And our car is, for all practical purposes, 
assembled. We are going to do a little thing that's not on the plans. Just for the fun of it, we're going to add a couple of spacers to this to keep it centered in the middle. And I'm going to cut one right there. This is just a McDonald's soda straw. Okay, and I'm going to cut the other spacer right there. That won't provide very much friction. Now we're ready for the actual assembly of the car. And to do that, we need a couple of those 632 nuts. Okay, they fit right on where we cut the threads. There's one. And here's the other one. And there it goes. Okay, just a little side-to-side -side play with our spacers in there. We're going to put a fender washer that's larger than a regular washer. Okay, and that fender washer provides enough area that we can set this record up over the top. Put the other fender washer on and follow up with the last nut. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that the circle is a little bit bigger in the record than we have, like a quarter inch, compared to the eighth inch axle. So you got to make sure you center everything up manually while you do this. I'm going to grab a hold of that nut with the pliers and I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one up right here and we have one wheel mounted. It's pretty simple. Tighten it down. That's it. Okay, the only thing left to add to our car right now, and by the way, our wheels should spin nice and free, the only thing left to add to our car is the piece of string. And I want to make sure I show you this because we've had more questions about this string than probably anything else on this car. So we're going to start with a piece of string. Make it good and long. I don't care how long. Okay, but good and long. Okay, a couple of feet long if you want. We're going to take that string and we're going to tie it to the mousetrap anvil. Okay, don't ask me how long the string is. Just watch the video. Okay, we're going to tie it to the anvil. This is 25 pound test string again. That seems to work pretty well. 25 pound test fishing line. There's our string secured to the anvil. And now I'm going to show you how to size it for length. Okay, we're going to take it, leave the trap before it's wound, and pull the string around the side like this. Now, use the scissors, snip it off right on the other side of the axle, right there. That's how long you make the string. Okay, don't measure it, just hold it up and cut it. Now all we have to do is wind the trap, which, as you saw from the other mousetrap video is sometimes a little bit tough. You stick it through the hole just a little ways, just far enough, and then you wind it. All right, our car is loaded, and it's ready to go. Let's set it down and try it out. First run. Here we are. Set the car. Get everything ready. And let it rip. There she goes. Picking up speed. Rolling along. And these plans are available on the website. We'll post where you can get that. And we also have uh, axles available if you think it's a little too much for you to make your own. Have a good one.